there's a few different sum functions in Microsoft Excel. Sum is the most basic. It's just going to add up everything you give it. Like if we select all of the quantities, it's going to add them up. 165 is the total quantity. Now sum if and sum ifs are going to sum based on conditions. So with sum if, it's just going to be one condition. And so let's say, let's look at the product column. And so I'll enter that and hit comma. And I want to look for anything that says football. And if I see that, I'm going to sum up their quantities. Okay, so I give it where I want to look and what I want to look for. So look for football in column B. And then if I see it in those columns, sum up the quantities in that same row. And so I'll enter here, it's 41. So I've got football here, here, and down here. If I was to add up the quantities, I'd get 41 in that case. Now, sum ifs is a little bit different, and actually the formula is structured differently too. So it's summing on more than one condition. So in this case, I'm going to give it first the range that I want to sum. And sum if, I actually give it last, but I'm giving it first here. And then I'm going to put my criteria. So maybe first I want to look for football in the product column. So I'll select the range, hit comma, and then type out football. And then for my second set of conditions, I'm going to look in the order ID column. And let's say I want to look for any orders that have the number, let's say, 489437. So sum up the quantity when there's football in column B, and this is the order number in column A. Enter, and it's 14. It looks like I've got two rows that meet that condition, and if you add those up, you get 14. Thanks for watching. Now, if you want the link to the sample file used in this video, it's down in the description, as well as a link to an Excel course if you're interested.